I did this canvas a couple of days ago um, and a few people have asked me if I could show the process if I had done it. So um, first of all I want to say that it's just a mixture of different paints on the back and then I have used some of this uh, mixed in relief from Pebeo to get this sort of 3D effect and then the gold leaf on top of that. So it's really really simple but I'll just show you how I've done it once I get rid of my little nosy helper. So the first thing to remember, whenever you open the canvas, just hold on to the piece of plastic that's surrounding it. And I have just cut that to slightly bigger than the front of the canvas, and then just set that aside. Um, this is now a, a mixture of just um, white paint, pouring medium and water. And I'm just going to put some on the back, sorry, cover the canvas with it, first of all. Now that's quite a deep canvas, it's uh, one and a half inches deep, so I will probably just paint the sides of it white because um, while I like it deep, I know that the, I don't really like to have too much paint to come over the sides of it, so that's just a uh, rough covering. Just make sure I've got it all covered here. It looks better. And maybe I have just slightly too much, so maybe we'll put a bit on the sides there, but there we are. That's that. Now the paints that I have made up that I'm going to use on the canvas are two parts pouring medium to one part paint and a little drop of water. And I've also added uh, one or two drops of silicone oil to the mixture. And now I'm just going to roughly... Do you know, this doesn't actually have to be poured on in any particular shape because when I put the plastic on top and pull it, it will sort of remove most of the shape that I've already done in the background, so um, I'm just adding bits of it um, around like so. Um, and I always have to add a bit of turquoise or teal just because I like it. There we are. And then I would like some, that's quite a nice mixture, yep. So I'm going to add just a little bit of purple. That's deeper purple than what I've already got on. There we are. And then I will add a little bit of yellow. Give that a shake. Now I want some yellow in the centre. And then I could just tiny wee drop around the outside here like that. And then I always like to add just a wee drop of green out in the corners so that sort of helps with the sort of leaf effect at the end. So I'm just going to pour some on here. That looks a little bit thicker than what I had intended. Anyhow, it's probably been sitting just a wee bit too long. Maybe just move that out to the edges a bit. Just with the spatula. And a little bit here. Now. Now for the bit with the plastic that I kept from the top. So I'm just going to put that down directly on top and press so that it's all in contact and there's no air bubbles yet. See, because it's plastic, you can see where the air pockets are and just push down. And hopefully this will be nice when I lift the plastic. And then I will just peel that up. Now, obviously, if I pull the plastic this way, the pattern is going to come this way. So just whatever way you fancy. But for this one, I'm going to pull up from the corners. So, because I want it sort of meeting in the middle, up again, and like so, and then up. Is that nice? Yeah. Now, another little thing that I always do is flip that over right away, set it down, and that pattern's really too good to waste. And because I love making cards, I always keep a piece of card handy and then I can transfer this pattern 
onto the card and use that as a background. So there's no waste. Don't worry too much about what the back of that's going to look like. Just try to make sure all of that is in contact with the plastic below. That should be nice. And actually just because that grill is in there, I'll maybe just turn this over and just be sure that I've got, I can see it better, yeah. And then lift that off and you've got a little background. There we are. And I'll show you some things that I'll be doing with that later. There we are. No waste. That's a nice cool background for, for a card. So right now what I'm going to do, I could actually take some more off that. Isn't that really nice? Look. But you can see here how this is developing. And I think that's turned out really beautifully. So I'm going to set that aside to dry now. And then whenever it's dried, I'll move on to the next stage with the mixed in relief and the gold. So just to show you how I have got these kind of lines here. Uh, when when the canvas was left sitting just for a moment or two, then I took my um, spatula that I had used to spread the paint on in the first place and just gone from the centre and make just lines out to the outside, like so. And there. And I've just made a wee bit too deep, I think, but not to worry. And I'll turn this round. And it's basically, I'm sort of thinking of this yellow part as the centre of the flower, and then making these into petal sort of shapes. There we are. And then when that dries, that will give me a nice outline to put the, the gold on. And I'll put some in the centre here as well. I've left the canvas to dry overnight. It's turned out really well. And this is also the piece of card that I used the excess paint on. So I've, I'm going to leave that one for a little while and then I shall die cut some of those pieces uh, from that and make a, a card. But I'll show you how I've done that later. Um, it's something, this type of thing. But what I'm going to do just here is use this mixed in relief. So that's Jedio and that's a Pepio product. And I'm just going to follow the lines that I made with the spatula in that yesterday. I'll maybe zoom in just slightly so you can see better there. And then I'm just going to follow those. Now I'm, I'm not going exactly on the line because I want to be able to see those lines as well. It just gives a little bit more detail when it's finished. Um, and I'm sort of thinking right to the outside, kind of the way a petal would go. You see that okay? And obviously I was looking at where the camera was there and not the thing. So that's actually a little tip. Once that's applied and if you think it's not in the right place it just wipes straight off again and then you can change where you had it. So. There you are. Okay. And I don't want to cover up some of these nice bits and pieces that are have come out in the paintwork, so I just leave those on. Um, and there we are from there. And yeah, another one there. There. And then I would like some gold in the centre as well, so this yellow bit is what I'm considering the centre of the flower. So I'm just going to put some dots in there. Biggish dots. Now I'll need to leave that to dry so um, I have to go out for a, a bit and when I come back that should be nice and dry and then I can put the gold leaf on top so I'm going to add some of this on top. Um, sometimes I like to do couple extra spots here and there through just to get a little bit of gold and sparkle onto the petals. Do you know that looks like it should have another line in there. Right to the edge. 
The colours have come out really beautifully in that, so I can't wait to see what that looks like with the gold on it. And there. That's us for now, and I'm just going to leave that to dry. And then I'll come back with this as well. So this is ready to add the mirror effect leaf on top of now. Um, it really only takes one to two hours for this to dry depending on the temperature of the room and the humidity or whatever but um, that's it ready. So you can feel it slightly tacky and um, it's gone clear but you could, should be able to see there where I have added it. And what to do now is just take this mirror effect leaf and put it on top with the gold side facing upwards and just sort of press down on all the areas that you've got the mixed in relief on and it doesn't actually matter if you miss any because you can come back again and do it and catch all those pieces so it's just straight off and you see that lovely gold effect it's really really beautiful um, and obviously if, you, if you've never used this stuff before, there's no waste with it at all because you can just lay this back down anywhere and pick up any bits that you've missed or if you go on to a new project you can use the bits that are left in this sheet. So it's really nice. I'm just going to catch some of those dots in the centre again there just to make sure I've got it properly covered. So there you are, you should be able to catch that on camera I think. But the gold effect of it's really, really beautiful, particularly in the centre there. Now I have taken a die from this die set here, and I've cut it with my die cutting machine. I've used this, the B one, and I've used it on white card. This, so um, actually that might just be nice without it. So I may not even add the, the B onto that one because that is just so nice. I'll wait until that dries and then possibly glaze it at the top, glaze it at the end. I mean. Um, May, may or may not put the B on. I actually think that one looks very nice without it because the, the dark colours and the gold look really nice but I'll go back just show you what this one looked like with the B on top. So There we are. Now the other thing that I did was I have gone ahead and used the stuff that you know the paint that I blotted up at the end and I've got a card because I just love making cards and I didn't want to waste any of it so I've cut that out to uh, 12 and a half centimetres square and I'll just speed this up a little once I start to make the card but I've got a 6x6 six six card plank here, some lilac card just to back onto this just to coordinate and then I have taken this die set and with my die cutting machine I've cut out this large butterfly in white and um, some of these flowers from the scrap paint poured paper and some plain white and I've also got a few gems here I'm going to emboss them slightly just on this mat just the, the, the petals to give them a bit of shape and make the card and I'll just speed it up while I do that
Well, I'm really, really happy with how that turned out, and hopefully you can see that in the light there with the, the gold is really beautiful against those dark colours in the background. There we are, so that's the canvas done, and a card made with the the paint that dripped off for the background. So um, that might actually even look nice with some of the gold on it as well, but there's the flowers. Here are the die cut flowers and the background that were made from the paint that I blotted up from the from this. Thank you.